All right, everybody, I've got a fun one for you today. Now, I know I say that a lot, but this one really is a lot of fun. It was created by Bart Lombardo, and it's called the Triangle Bug. And Bart is a tire and guide up in New Jersey who runs the blog and fly shop called Panfish on the Fly. Now, I had the privilege of meeting him at the International Symposium a couple weeks ago. A really great guy and certainly knows his stuff. And the triangle bug is one of his original patterns, and it's just a great looking fly. Really fun and not at all hard to tie. And it's done so well the last few years that River Road Creations, the folks that come up with these dies for making foam bodies, they created one for the triangle bug. Now you could certainly cut these foam shapes with scissors or really just a diamond that you fold over to make the triangle, but I have a feeling that after we fish this bug a few times, we're gonna wanna tie a dozen of these up for our panfish box every spring. And I'll put a link in the description to Bart's store where you can check this out and pick one up if you're interested. Now, full disclosure, I've never fished this pattern, never even tied it until today, but man, it was just so fun and easy to tie, and it looks so fishy that I can't wait to get out and try this on my bluegill ponds this spring. And one other thing I really like about this pattern, really versatile. Just three materials, some calf tail and foam and then rubber legs, so the color combinations are endless. And I think y'all are going to like this one. So there it is in the vise, Bart Lombardo's Triangle Bug. Now this is just a really cool looking simple pattern, but you know this thing is going to be a panfish killer. I'm tying it on a size 6, it's a 4 extra long, and it's a kink shank hook, but notice that kink is flat. Now if you don't have this and you can't find these hooks, just use a regular, regular hook, but you're going to have to be a little bit careful to make sure this flat body doesn't roll around on you. Now I am stepping my thread up to a 210 denier. This is an olive because I'm going with an olive color scheme on this one. So go ahead and wrap it around this bend and all the way back to the barb. Now the tail is just a medium tuft of calf tail, about a body length. So we're going to go about right there and leave a lot of it up front. I'll tell you why in just a second. Let's catch this in with a couple of tight wraps right here. And I'm going to go ahead and put one up under it, just to keep it from rolling around on me. There we go. Now, I'm going to do some loose wraps just to wrap this all the way up. And why I'm leaving all this in here is it'll give our super glue something to soak into and help us hold this foam together when we get to that step. Now, I do have a little bit up front. I'm going to go ahead and trim this a little bit. Now the next step is our legs, and really anything you want. Uh, I'm using this in an olive color, but black barred. I think these little silly legs look kind of good. I'm going to put just a couple of loose wraps on it right here. Without messing them all up, let's try that again. Those are loose wraps so that I can position them off to the side like I want. Okay, they're coming off the side just fine. And now I can put a couple of tighter wraps. And before we get too far along, we go ahead and bring our thread back to the tail. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and trim these, not to size, but just short enough to kind of keep them out of my way a little bit. Now for the body, I picked up this die from Panfish on the Fly, but you can get this at a lot of places. You can get it at River Road Creations, uh, Jay Stockard even carries a lot of these dies, and when you get it, you know, it makes it really easy to cut out a, a lot of these pieces right here. And I'm going to go with this frog foam. This is another product I picked up from River Road Creations, this frog foam here. But you can use any foam you want, just a good 3 millimeter foam, any color you want. Now when you've got your piece, you'll want to go ahead and just poke a hole right in the middle of it. Maybe wiggle it around a little bit if you can get it big enough to just get it over the eye of this hook here. Now here's a tip. If you don't have a rotary vise, I'd probably do the bottom one first, but since I do have a rotary vise, I'm going to go ahead and do the top one, then I can spin it around to do the bottom one. So this is a little bit, you know, take some dexterity right here. Just kind of hold that down and we're going to put a couple of wraps here, try not to capture your legs. And this is why or where a, a thicker thread comes in handy. 
is too thin to near, it will really help you bind into this foam without cutting it. Okay, now that I've got that, I'm gonna go ahead and spin it around. Maybe readjust it in here a little bit if I, if I need to. Make sure your legs are kind of coming off how you want because this next step, we only have a few seconds to get it right. And that's just putting some super glue right here, just a couple of drops. And I'm gonna put it right on these thread wraps over this hook. You know, you could put a little bit, spread it out if you wanted, but for the most part, it's gonna spread out when you squish it. And what you'll do here is kind of be quick about it, but fold it down to where you get the tips of these triangles lined and you've got just a couple of seconds to make sure your legs are where they where you want them and then just hold it squeeze it and with the super glue you got about 10 or 15 seconds I'll speed this up so you don't have to wait 10 seconds while it dries okay for the most part that is set now we've got to capture in that bottom right here for the most part, I think the the super glue is really going to hold this in, but you know, to be safe, get some thread wraps over both the tips of these triangles here. Okay, I think we're good right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and trim these legs to size, which will you know make it a little bit easier for my web finish. And I'd say, you know, this is a judgment call how long you want them, but pretty long. You know, I think that right there is going to work. And here's a good place to use your big whip finisher if you have one. I don't, so you're going to have to do it by hand. And if you don't know how to whip finish by hand, I've got a video on that. It's not that hard to learn. And there we go, that's about it. You do wanna put some kind of head cement or UV resin or even a drop of super glue on those thread wraps, but that's it, Bart Lombardo's Triangle Bug. Really cool pattern and a very simple tie. You know, the trickiest part is just getting that whip finish and those thread wraps there at the, the base of the hook. So that's it, my friends. I appreciate you watching. Y'all take care and we'll see you next time.